Hi guys, this is a video talking about my car audio setup. Now I've done some videos in the past talking about my audio setup in my car and people seem to find them quite useful so I thought I'd do one about my current setup. So before I get onto the actual device that I use to connect my phone to my stereo, I wanted to talk about this which is a phone holder. Now these things are my kind of, I have a, an issue with these things, they're often, often badly designed. Now I don't use this one anymore but it's a really good design in some ways so it's got a little button there. Simply put your phone on and press it back and it grabs hold of your phone. The phone's nice and secure, the phone can be rotated, straightened up, you press the buttons on the side and it spits the phone forward basically into your hand. Really good design. Ball at the back, uh, ball joint so you can adjust the phone, move the angle. Um, hinge here and suction cup, but the suction cup failed. Um, and that's what happens with so many of these things. That design in terms of the holder is the best that I've seen, bar none. It's really nice, it snaps your phone in, it holds it nice and tight, and you can really easily get it out. You're not dealing with kind of spring-loaded things um, that you don't have any control over, because it press the button to spring it in, and then when you press it out, they just lock out. Um, it's really convenient. Um, if you're out there and you're thinking about making phone holders, make them like that. Um, in terms of connecting my phone to my stereo, the system I've got is this, which is the Belkin uh, Car Audio Connect FM. Um, this one has Bluetooth, so it uses Bluetooth to connect to your phone and then this connects via FM to your car stereo. Let's go take a look. So here we are in the car and yes, that is the view at the front of my house or the back of my house. Um, so yeah, can't complain about that. But uh, look, here's the uh, the phone where I have it mounted. I like to have it mounted over here because from where I sit, my angle is kind of like that. So it's not really obstructing my view. I don't want to have it up higher in the center, up here near the, the rear vision mirror, um, or in the middle of the car, unless I can have it below the dash. So to get it on the window, I like to tuck it in over here um, near the, the pillar. Um, so this is the clip. So if I take the phone out, um, it comes out easy enough, but getting it back in there is a bit of a challenge. So this is really robust, sticks on the wall. Um, but to get it in with one hand, you've kind of got to kind of got to push it open with one hand and then wiggle your phone in. Now I made that look reasonably easy on video, but I've done a couple of takes and kind of got used to it. But it's a little bit clumsy. Um, I generally use two hands to put it in um, because it's just faster, but I would like a simpler process. It holds it nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. However, the clip does sometimes press the volume down button. So basically I've got a charging cable plugged in there, I've got it hooked up um, through a little holder there and it comes across the front of the dash there and down to the main unit. So basically what have we got? We've got a cigarette port down here. If I come in there you might be able to see that a little bit better with a charging cable plugged into that. Um, I'm just going to turn the car on because basically we've got this little unit here which starts off orange and then turns blue. Now that's blue because my phone is connected. Now I've got a few little uh, clips here. I managed to just break this one, just doing a take as I as I rip this off, I snap that one. So I'll, I will replace that later. But basically, we've got the little unit here. So this is the main the main deal. Um, so basically, you've got a button for um, starting and stopping your music. Now I press the button; it should play my music. Walk the streets alone. And stop your music. Now that was me, Soul Trader if you're interested. Um, uh, YouTube will probably think it's somebody else and uh, put a ban to me putting ads on this video even though that was my music. Um, so on the side we've got an up and down button that is for adjusting the frequency. So as you can see it's gonna make a lot of racket and you can probably hear a little high-pitched hum which I believe is linked to this um, Bluetooth unit because I haven't heard it with other units. So what I'm going to do is just for a second just going to turn the volume down on that. Um, but it comes through the stereo but I believe it's it seems to be something to do with the Bluetooth. I'm not 100% sure of that but that's my finding so far. On top we've got one and two which is two preset um, frequencies. So if I press two we'll get the other one and on my stereo if I press two it'll match up again. So I can quickly switch across if I'm in an area where this frequency isn't working well. You can also do an auto scan for frequency with the center button. So it basically finds the best best uh, frequency as I try to hold the camera and not drop this for what area you're in. And on the back you've got one more button which is when you're syncing your phone. So you go into your Bluetooth settings, simply press that button um, and it's going to find the device. Once you connect once, it'll always reconnect. 
um, so obviously you can connect multiple devices with the Bluetooth and there's a bit of a, a bit of a lottery as to whose device it's going to pick up so I've got that just sitting in there so I can again answer calls if I need to um, I've got a few clips I've got some extra cable down in here just tucked away you know, underneath the steering column to try to keep it all neat so basically when I'm driving my car I've got a black cable there it does stick out a little bit at the moment um, it's not perfect um, I did have it running up underneath here so when I'm in my driving position I couldn't actually see that there was any cable at all um, which was quite nice unfortunately gravity meant that the little sticky uh, clips that I had tended to fall off which was quite frustrating so that's basically the car setup as I said it's pretty um, basic and straightforward depending on where you like to mount your phone obviously if you like to mount your phone in the middle here you'll be able to use a shorter cable um, to get to your phone but I like my phone over here on the side um, but that's the Belkin uh, what's it called tune basey thing I don't have the name here back to the studio so there you go guys that is the car audio setup I've got it is the Belkin Car Audio Connect FM with Bluetooth. Uh, it's been really reliable. The only issue that I've had is that, that annoying hum buzzing uh, noise that you get related to the Bluetooth. But don't worry, it comes in a non-Bluetooth version and it appears that I have two of them lying around. I don't know, keep an eye out in the, we'll look in the description for a giveaway video maybe. Just a heads up. Let's wrap this video up though with a thumbs up if you like the video and please comment below regarding phone clips because I love a good phone clip. Uh, they are worth their weight in gold. Let me know the name of them so I can look them up, maybe get hold of a couple and do some review videos. Uh, please subscribe to the channel to see more tech videos including that giveaway. I'm Simon from Tech Life Video. We'll see you next time. Bye.